Hey, I'm Anthony, the head roaster from 19 Grams Coffee in Berlin. And, <laughs> okay, sorry. and this is. I am Jia, the I'm for Cat Cats and Coffee. And we are here today, today to talk about this coffee. And by recent customer also like see some people here about this coffee. So today we are going to show how to uh, branding coffee in a more professional way and also check this coffee and you are going to show them it's not open so it's still sealed I don't even know what coffee is inside so I'm quite excited to find out uh, it's from Caffeination yeah. I'm gonna open it <laughs> and when you open I will explain what we are doing and we also have the, this branding table here it's right all the information here and it's a roasted coffee bean so according to the SCA standard we will only take 100 grams of oh, so what have we got? so you've got Ethiopia Guji Kesha Kelo I guess honey process supposed to be super sweet tastes like peaches, apricot and have a creamy mouth Um, this is chipped, which isn't the worst defect in the world and it shouldn't really affect flavour too much. And there's another slightly chipped bean. But then there's a lot of beans like that just aren't very pretty. But there's nothing wrong with that bean. It's just not very pretty. Yeah, ugly is not a defect. Ugly is beautiful. And you have to think like this is some farmer's livelihood and that defect could mean it's not specialty coffee. And then he would have to he or she would sell his coffee her coffee on the sea market and get no money for it whereas this could be a 90 point coffee and then they could sell for a lot of money which is what we want most of the time and Anthony can you also introduce which kind of defect will influence the flavor which which kind of defect is fine for the flavor um, so you've got like minor defects so like the really bad ones would be like the full sours, full blacks, fungus, severe insect damage. And there's basically none of that in this coffee so far. Anyway, in the first third. All this has is some Quakers and basically any non-washed coffee from Ethiopia will have Quakers. Like, I've only ever had one coffee from Ethiopia that is an unwashed coffee that doesn't have Quakers and it's a pretty special coffee but more, more often than not you'll find coffees that have defects but they're very easy to spot because they're a completely different colour um, you take them out of the brew and then yeah if you maybe put them like next to So well, that's basically all of the defects that I would take out. And what's that? Oh, 100 grams? 1, 2, 3, 4. Nice. 29. Oh, it's my turn to branding this coffee. And while I'm branding, Anthony we are like growing this coffee. Yeah, not really though. No, that one maybe. Yeah. And that one has a mark on it. You could say it's, it's much harder once they've been roasted. It's just, I, I actually figured out why the coffee makes them this way. Because it's really good, like, without, uh, lighter than. It's quite a light roast yeah. coffee. And then with any unwashed Ethiopian coffee, you will get like a few degrees of different color. 
And this one is totally fine. It's just ugly. Just ugly. I bet that tastes delicious. Oh no, it can't see. <laughs> <laughs> find one point six. Can you check again? Uh, can you show me if you find a yep. next time and show in your hand? What's wrong with this one? Um, it's probably an immature bean or it was crushed going through the pulp up when they made it into a honey. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we have chipped. <laughs> but again, the chips, they still normally taste pretty good, as long as they roast okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so this one in my screen looks really lighter, mm -hmm. there's no problem with this one? Nah, uh, I don't think it has any like defects, mm -hmm. but again I wouldn't prove, they would probably taste because it's a lot lighter, so it will probably taste quite peanutty. Do you have any Ethiopian honey processing coffee at the moment? Uh, no, they're kind of new. So I only have, we have natural. It's that one super clean natural that has no defects that I was talking about. Ah. That's the one I was talking about, we have right now, but everything, honeys are pretty rare. Yeah, I'd say that's, ah, and this one. It's oh, a shell. wait. Any? Uh, no. Yep. First finish. So I miss, <laughs> I miss like zero coma. Zero comma. <laughs> and you also finish your brewery. Finish my brew. Look at that perfectly flat there. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Now we are like police. We will slow slow down the video. <laughs> Find from your face how it tastes. How it tastes? It's nice. It's super clean. Um, like I haven't tried many honey processed Ethiopians. Um, yeah, it's super clean. Like sweet floral. It's a really nice coffee. Would you like to try? Yeah. Well, recently, a lot of our customers they began to grinding coffee at home. And for me personally, actually, I'm not supposed to that because, in my opinion, it's just make drink coffee at home very complicated. Yeah. Complicated. And it's already been graded many times before it gets to yeah. the customer by the uh, farmer, by the roasters, yeah. and everyone along the way. Yeah. So actually, from my opinion, is just taste the coffee and when you